So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and then type in settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you're going to click on Windows Update. And then you want to click on Advanced Options. Then you want to click on Recovery. And then you want to click on Restart Now next to Advanced Startup. And I click on Restart Now again. Which will then take you to this screen. Now, if you cannot access this screen, because you cannot access your Windows 11 desktop or your Windows 10 desktop, you want to press and hold the power button on your computer until it shuts down. Then you want to turn it on again, and then when you see the Windows logo, you want to press and hold the power button again, which will shut the computer down again. Then you want to turn it on again. You want to repeat this three times until it takes you into this screen. Now once you're on this screen, you want to click on Troubleshoot, and then you want to click on Advanced Options. Then you want to click on Command Prompt. Now you want to type in or copy and paste the commands which I'll leave down below in the description. So for the first one, it's boot rec space forward slash fix mbr and click on enter. For the next command, we're going to type in boot rec space forward slash fix boot and click on enter again. If it says access is denied for you, it's no problem. You can just keep going with the next commands. Now we're going to type in boot sect space forward slash nt60 space sys and click on enter. Now we're going to type in boot rec space forward slash fix boot and click on enter. And then we're going to type in boot rec space forward slash rebuild and click on enter. Now we're going to type in sfc space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. This will take some time to complete. Let's just wait for it. Now once that's been done, we're going to type in chk dsk space c colon and then click on enter. Now, once you've done all of this, we're going to close out command prompt. Then you just want to click on continue. Now the problem should be fixed. 